welcome to What the Funko. Today, yet again, I have another humongous haul that kind of just proves that I'm a Funkaholic. Uh, just too many Funkin' Funkos. Just too many Funkin' Funkos. The truth is, I haven't been Funko hunting, Funko shopping in a while, it feels, but then I remembered that I still haven't filmed a haul in a while, so I've accumulated a ton still. Yeah, so there's just a lot, there's a lot, but I have to do this haul now before I buy more, and then it's just gonna be too much to do a haul, so... Yeah, oh my goodness, this might be bigger than my last haul. Is that insane? <laughs> but let's just get down to business. Let's just go, let's do it, okay? Uh, first Funko was actually a gift from my mentor. Of course, I want to start this off with none other than Stranger Things, in honor of the new season that came out this past month. Yeah, they released so many cool new Stranger Things 2 Funko Pops, and I haven't bought any of them yet. They are so cool, I definitely want Max. I hope that they create a Bob. This is actually a fall convention exclusive, and it is 11 with electrodes. This is a really cool pop. I feel like if I were to dress up for Halloween, I would probably dress up in this hospital gown thing uh, with these cool electrodes like if I could create that but yeah definitely a cool pop that I got all right moving on to pop Disney so I got three pops from the nightmare before Christmas the first one was actually another gift from the you boy aka my boyfriend this is another Funko convention exclusive this is the New York Comic Con limited edition uh, so this is Sally seated and I believe there's another Sally seated with her that's flocked and glow in the dark now that I think about it I don't have any glow in the dark pops that is my goal to get a glow in the dark pop I actually never took this out of the box so I just feel like taking it out of the box right now this comes with Sally seated of course I think this looks way better out of the box okay her hair is the straightest coolest thing ever oh my gosh it's actually giving me some weird like like ASMR feels it's so straight and long that is actually kind of creepy I don't know why it's creeping me out like it's making me tingle inside and then uh, <gasps> did it break it okay no 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 it also comes with like the tiniest little black cat like I feel like we're twinning a bit here. Look at this. I never had like a mini little Funko that came with it like this. This is so adorable out of the box. Um, I really want to place her somewhere. And I forgot what the cat's name was, by the way, but yeah. Did they even have a name? Yeah, she's just such a cool character because she's so colorful. And another one that I love, which is another summer convention exclusive man all these are exclusives now that i realize this i actually uh had on my shelf but i put it back in the box it is pajama jack and he basically looks black and white he is amazing he's holding on to a little book he's in his pajamas i adore this one just because his face looks so wickedly cool and almost scary but at the same time he's in his cozy little jammies it's so cute and it fits with all the rest of my black and white funkos on my shelf and it kind of works for both halloween and Christmas so really like this pop and the last one from the nightmare before Christmas I actually saw this at box lunch because it's a box lunch exclusive by the way a lot of times they carry their exclusives by the cash register so I always like to check if they have anything behind the cash register and this one is zero with bone and he has a little jack-o-lantern on his nose to be honest I haven't seen this movie in a really long time and I don't even remember this character maybe faintly but <laughs> anyway, I thought he looked cute. He looks glow-in-the-dark, but he's not. He's white, but it's a little bit of a transparent white, which is really cool because he is like a ghost dog, so... Oh, and he's on a little stand, so he's kind of like flying, and he has a bone. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. I'm actually appreciating this one a lot more. I'm really glad I got this one, actually. The next four are from Snow White. They released like a whole collection of Snow White Pops, and I got so excited about them. I honestly want to collect all the dwarves. So far, this is what I have, and believe it or not, I don't even have Snow White. Like. I need Snow White. What I do have though is the witch, okay? And I normally never get the villain, but this witch is really cool. And I actually started watching this show once upon a time and it's based off of all these fairy tales. And the witch is a really cool character. So, oh my gosh, I'm actually pretty scared of the witch, but this also goes into like my Halloween sort of pops because I'm trying to create like a little innocent collection of scary pops. But yeah, here's the witch with her little 
apple. And then I got three dwarves. Two of which I got from Box Lunch, I believe, because they were having like a two for something deal. So I thought these two were like two of the cutest. Plus I really want Dopey, the chase version with uh, the kiss on his cheek um, or the forehead or something. I got Sneezy and Bashful. Sneezy and Bashful are so cute because the Sneezy one's like, and Bashful's just like blushing and he's so happy. I was gonna get happy, but Bashful is basically happy but cuter. So, ooh, there's also Sleepy. Kinda want Sleepy. And Doc's kinda cute too. I don't know, I kinda want them all, but that's a lot to ask for. Then, I also bought some Funkos from Books A Million. I ordered these online actually. Bam, Books A Million. It's, oh, it's actually a Books A Million exclusive and it is Grumpy. Oh, I love this pop so much. He's holding on to a diamond. Look at how grumpy he looks. I have to take this one out of the box. So cool. Look, he's holding on to a diamond and the diamond's like a crystal. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I know. I know. All right, moving right along. I have some more Disney pops. Uh, one being. <laughs> from this amazing Disney movie that I really need to rewatch, Ratatouille. I've got Alfredo Linguini. Like, that is the coolest name ever. <laughs> Alfredo Linguini, aw, man. Okay, so I definitely want Flocked Remy. I definitely want to put him in my kitchen. I definitely think his red converse are the coolest thing ever. He's carrying a frying pan. He's blushed and so worried with freckles. Um, got a chef's hat. He would look so bomb digalicious in my kitchen. And his frying pan's so cool. Ah! It'd be so cool if maybe like a chase version of this pop would have him holding onto a plate of like ratatouille. Oh my goodness, that would just make me just burst full of joy. Alfredo Linguini, my friends. And then I also got Carl. Like he was so cheap. I was like, what's wrong with this world? I think I got him for like $3 or something on Amazon. But yeah, I definitely need Russell. So he has the grape soda pin, but then they didn't write out grape soda on the pin, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I think that would have made me extra happy. Um, it's just like the outline of the pin, but no grape soda written on it. Obviously he has his tennis ball crane. His his face looks a little pink. Oh, Carl. I love this movie. This movie makes me cry every single time. Lastly, in the Disney category, I got Olaf with Kittens. And this is a rather new pop because apparently they're coming out with a new movie called Olaf's Frozen Adventure. I probably wouldn't see it. Uh, I wish they came out with like a Frozen 2 because I'm more interested in like Anna and Elsa's journey. Olaf's cool too, and I just thought I always wanted an Olaf. There's so many different kinds of Olafs, but this one, like, he's holding on to kittens. And I couldn't resist. Just look at him, okay? Pretty darn adorable, I know. Like, Olaf's cute in itself, and then with the kittens. Yeah. And then randomly, she was on sale too on Amazon and I was like, Ugh. Hermione. And people used to call me Hermione because my hair was always like poof. Like I always put my hair in braids in middle school and then it'd be like nice and wavy and poofy. But I really liked the basic Hermione. Like I'd pay extra for her, but she was on sale. So, so yeah, I always just wanted her and I just finally got her. She's an older pop, but Hermione Granger. Oh, I really want Dumbledore and I really want the giant Hagrid. Ooh, even Voldemort's kind of kind of hilarious. Um, oh my gosh, Snape. I really want to start reading the Harry Potter series, by the way, like random, but I really do. I just can't fit in the time. Last category is pop animation. I got Sailor Moon and Luna. It's a rather heftier pop. I didn't hardcore watch Sailor Moon, but it was always like casually on TV and I would sometimes watch it. And for whatever reason, I loved Sailor Moon even though I rarely watched it, you know, but I just thought she was like the coolest character. Like I wanted to be her. This one also comes with a mini little cat. And I really like this pop and she was like pretty regular price. I also got my boyfriend tuxedo mask, which is a really cool pop too. I actually really like this pop. I like how long her pigtails are. I don't even know how this balances to be honest because I mean like her head's so huge and she has 
has on these like tiny little red boots. So yeah. Also from the animation Bob's Burgers, I got the box lunch exclusive of Tina Belcher. Uh, the U boy got me this one as well. And this one's really cool because she's holding on to two plates of burgers. It's normally Bob with the burgers and the normal Tina Belcher, she's not holding the burgers. Whoa. I find it so interesting that on the glasses is her eyeballs, but then like through the glasses, she also has like the typical Funko Pop eyeballs. And her outfit's just so cool. Like her little yellow pin, so cool. And for every purchase of this one, uh, 10 meals are donated. So it's a part of Feeding America. 10 meals are donated. Wow. That is crazy cool. I actually really like this pop. Mm. The last three pops are actually Nickelodeon pop. Two are from Rugrats. Now Rugrats was my childhood. I watched so much Rugrats. By the way, why do they not have any Fairly Odd Parents? Funko Pops because that was also my childhood. But these two are the classics and I just had to have them. Tommy and Chucky. And there's also a Chase version of Tommy with his red shirt, but I mean, come on. We all remember him with the sky blue shirt uh, and his little belly buttons peeking out and he's an Audi. Most people are an Innie. Are you an Innie or an Audi? Cause I'm definitely an Innie. Uh, is that even what you call it now? It all sounds strange. He's so cute and his little, his little hairs peeking out of his head is actually a little creepy. Um, that just kind of freaks me out just a little bit. Ugh. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Yeah, now that I look at it, it does look a little bit creepy. This is actually, a little creepy, but I mean it's Tommy. Tommy has the coolest voice too. It's so raspy and then of course Chucky. Chucky is such a cool pop like very underrated how cool this pop is. <gasps> wow out of the box, he looks amazing. Oh my goodness, all the colors, his hair is so glossy and perfect and so vibrant. This is actually a really, really cool pop. His red shoes, I always felt a little pity for this character. Oh my gosh, his freckles. Oh my gosh, how wonderful. I like this pop a lot. He's a real solid pop. All round, well made, really like this one. I didn't even notice that he had these purple square glasses until now, but last but not least is Cat Dog. This is one of the coolest pops just because it's kind of two in one. Can we just Like this pop is so cool. Oh my gosh, its noses are so glossy. This is a really well-made pop as well. Really well-made, like his eyeballs have these little indents on them. Definitely so glad I got this pop. Like. I think this is the most perfect pop I own. I really like everything about this pop. Beautiful, I love this pop. <laughs> that is all the pops for this month. Now it's time to choose my favorite pop of the month. <sighs> it's gonna be hard. Uh, mm, uh, okay, I've decided which one is the winner for my favorite pop of the month. I'm gonna go with Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers. Never watched Bob's Burgers, but this is a really cool pop. Plus, 10 meals are donated for every purchase. Um, bonus points for that. Uh, let's take her out of the box, actually, because I never did. Just look at her. Appreciate her in all its glory. It's a little bit different. Ooh, she looks so whatever. Honestly, don't know what her character's like, but just assuming from looking at her expression, like she seems like a pretty rad character. And this pop was a gift, so it's just extra special. Comment down below which pop was your favorite from my video, and let me know if you're liking the videos on this channel so that I get encouraged to make more. Seriously, like this video because every like just makes me feel more liked. And uh, yeah, to put it simply. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Stay popping, y'all.